We're back now with concerns over how a very busy bridge in Chesapeake is looking these days. Pictures into 10 on your side are raising the red flag about whether it's safe for drivers. We're talking about the Triple Decker Bridge, where South Military Highway passes over Bainbridge Boulevard. Well, tonight, the city says it is doing something about it. Penny, your side's Andy Fox got the pictures, and he's got the story for us, too. Andy? Tom and Anita, Bainbridge Boulevard down below. South Military up above, the off-ramp from South Military on the main bridge in the middle. We got out here and we said, how did this bridge get into this condition? They said age. And now the full court press to save a bridge. We're addressing some concrete issues, addressing the structural steel underneath, and we're making concrete repairs. So that's what you're seeing right now. The Chesapeake Triple Decker Bridge is on life support, but it is alive. The crossroads of South Military Highway and Bainbridge Boulevard. But look at this picture sent to us by a viewer. Shows rebar looking really exposed. Chesapeake's Assistant Director of Public Works, Earl Sorry. A 10 on your side viewer sent us that picture. You see that there? Y yes, sir. That was right over there. That was right over there. How did it get so bad to begin with? I mean, look at that rebar right there. Right, yeah. So, so the bridge is about 80 years old. That's some of the, the effects of, of age that you'll see on a concrete structure. Right above our heads, there's even more exposed rebar. The upper level, which is South Military Highway, has a sufficiency rating of only 32.9 out of 100. The lower level is Military Highway off-ramp onto Bainbridge Boulevard. Its rating is 61.8. Sorry insists the structure is safe, passed an annual inspection two months ago, and is part of VDOT's State of Good Repair program. It wasn't that you couldn't allow it to be driven on, but they look at the age of the structure, they look at the condition ratings, and they look at you know what could be done to bring those ratings back up. And so that's what that $8 million is all about. Chesapeake has 90 bridges. The 22nd Street Bridge is a lost cause and was closed down with a sufficiency rating of, get this, only four out of 100. It will be rebuilt with $20 million. Is it dangerous for the traveling public? That does not look good right there. No, that, it, it's not dangerous. And the work that we're doing today ensures that it's not dangerous for the future as well. The state rehabilitation into this bridge, the Triple Decker Bridge, will take $8 million. It will begin in the spring. It will take just over a year to complete. In Chesapeake, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.